What's going on everyone? Happy Thursday. I am standing out here in our pre-owned section um, and it's been a while since we've done a pre-owned unit. This is a 2017 330 RSTS Jayco Eagle travel trailer. Kind of a mouthful but I really liked the uh, floor plan in this model and there's a lot of residential features which um, is something that's pretty different with a travel trailer. So we're going to start with the outside first. You have your power tongue jack here at the front and it even has a utility light. You also have your propane tanks behind here, um, which I thought was kind of different. You got two of them. Plus the front cap has a really awesome design on it. Coming over to our camping side, you have one slide out. So that means you have two uh, awnings. So you have the extra shade if you need it. Frameless windows as well, which always look awesome. You also have some pass-through storage and your battery disconnect is right here on your camping side. Front and rear electric stabilizer jacks. You also have some power underneath your awning. So if you want to set something up, maybe a TV out here. Um, of course, you have the ca uh, cable and satellite input. So uh, you can have a TV out here if you would like. You have a helper handle so you can uh, have some stability getting in your camper. And like I said, this is the 330 RSTS model. Coming towards the back, it's kind of a tight squeeze. You got yourself a ladder, so that means you have a fully walkable roof to keep up on your roof and slide out maintenance. A huge frameless window back here, and you already have a uh, rear camera so you can see what you're doing when you're backing up your camper into your spots. Two slide outs on your non-camping side. And then there is your docking station. Um, this is also where you can uh, open your black and gray tank, access to your water heater as well, and some outside storage that you can uh, get to also from the inside underneath your bed. So now let's take a look at the inside. So coming all the way to the front, I believe this is a king size bed. Um, it looks pretty large. Uh, you can lift it up for some extra storage, just like I showed you, you have access to it from the outside as well. Really interesting reading lights. You can kind of move them around a little bit and you have three cabinet storages up above, some shelving on either side and a window for a nice view. One of the reasons I chose to do a video on this camper is your ceilings are actually very tall, especially here in the bathroom. And that's just something that's different in your uh, travel trailers. You don't see that too often. All the way at the front is your closet space. Um, clothes rack extends all the way across and then you have the sliding mirror doors and you even have a shelf that goes all the way across. And since the ceilings are super tall, that means you have extra um, space up there for your items. So right next to that is just some additional storage up top and down below. Got a couple shelves in there. Across from your bed, you have a huge dresser that is also very tall. Six drawers, so you can kind of split that up evenly with you and your spouse. Um, countertop space too, so you can put some picture frames, knickknacks, things like that. And you also have a TV in here. AC in your bedroom, plus you have your own access to the bathroom from your bedroom. And it is a sliding door, which is always awesome. Here's the control panel for your AC here in the bedroom. Another awesome feature, you have a full residential size shower in here, which is pretty amazing. Huge sit down shower, great for relaxing. And they even included these from the previous owners, little dispensers for your body wash, shampoos and conditioners. Skylight is up above. Then we got our sink with some extra countertop space here to the right. A uh, cute little picture uh, quote that comes with the camper that the previous owners left. And then a medicine cabinet, extra tall washcloth towel storage space, towel rack, and more storage down below. And then behind me is your porcelain foot flush toilet at an angle. And then I thought this was interesting too. You have your toilet paper holder um, kind of built into your main entrance to the bathroom. You also have a towel rack and a command hook that also uh, the previous owners left behind. Coming out here, across from your entrance, uh, you have access to your AC here in the main living part of your camper. I'm not quite sure what this is. Um, I was messing around with it before the video and it is a touch screen that has your slide outs and stuff on it, but your control panel is up here. So I'm not quite sure what it is. 
if you have two control panels or what. Um, so coming into the rear living main portion of our camper, right next to our hallway entrance, you just have some extra storage here in your kitchen. Open this up. Couple hooks, which is interesting for your keys and leashes and stuff. More storage up above. I love the glass on the cabinet doors. And some additional countertop space too for uh, small appliances, coffee makers, uh, whatever. USB and uh, outlet back there too. Our price is $34,995 for everything. And you even have a residential size fridge here in this travel trailer, which is pretty amazing. Next to that, you have your three burner top stove. And then there's your oven. Four drawers to the left, plus some extra countertop space. Even more power on the back. Storage, microwave, and then your range hood. Across from there is your island. I love the matching uh, sink covers with your countertop. It's my favorite. 50-50 split stainless steel sink and more storage down below. Freestanding dinette, um, and this table does extend out, and I believe that there are two more chairs underneath the bed. Um, they're stored away right now. Uh, so you can extend this out too if you need the extra space. Windows are all across from this slide out all the way to the back of the camper. Next to your uh, dinette is your theater reclining seats. These are a part of the Thomas Paine collections. You got yourself some built-in cup holders and some remote control storage. Coming all the way to the back, you have your sleeper sofa. So this will fold out to a sleeping space for your kids, friends, or just extra guests. And tables are on both sides with built-in outlets. You can charge those electronics. Even more storage up above. And you got yourself a fireplace, which always looks awesome. Uh, stay nice and warm, especially if it gets pretty cool. Huge Furion TV. And then you have more storage up above. Right here is where you can access those outside and inside speakers, plus Bluetooth, uh, DVD, all of that fun stuff, radio. And almost forgot, you have a pantry in this camper. Removable shelves, you can adjust them as you need to. I also love that the glass is here on the pantry door as well. So that is it for this Jayco Eagle, you guys. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to let us know and we will be happy to help.